Hey guys, what's up? So I've recently been watching this show called Revenge, which was suggested to me by a bunch of people because I thought it was really good. I watched the pilot, I was like, okay, fine, whatever, I'll watch the second episode. The second episode took me into the third and the fourth and the fifth, and before I knew it, I was completely finished with the first freaking season. And on to the next one. So me making this video is kind of stemming from a video that my sister made on her channel about being addicted to TV and how she watches television. And since we're related, we kind of do a lot of things very similar, such as our Xbox avatars, unintentionally look exactly the same. In her video, she shows herself watching TV shows wherever she is, doing laundry, doing whatever, and I have been doing the same thing this past weekend with Revenge. I don't usually have a lot of free time, so most of the time I take all of my shows with me on my iPad. So I get to watch them while I'm traveling, but for whatever reason, this specific show, I found myself yelling at characters. Amanda Clark is, she's Oh, of course she's back again. You guys you just need to kill her. Yelling at my iPad, I'm like this psycho person sitting folding laundry, yelling at people that can't even talk back to me. No, this is, this is insane. Victoria, I can't believe it. Again, again with your lies and deceit. I get so into so many different TV shows, and what happens? Most of the time after watching the first season, they go and cancel them. It really makes me angry because we invest a lot of time, we invest a lot of heart, we invest a lot of love into these characters, and what do they do? You just string us along, you make us watch this first season, and if it doesn't do so perfectly well, what do you do? You cancel it. You can't keep doing this to me, to us. To everyone. It's sucked in and guess what happens? Left with nothing but disappointment. But sometimes they try to wrap up those quick end of the series knowing that they're never gonna make a season two and just give you a, a disappointing ending. Or even worse, they just cut the show in the middle of the season and you get no closure. No! Closure! And even some of my favorite shows when I know they're gonna be ending, like Dexter is ending very very soon and I'm I don't know how I'm gonna survive. Breaking Bad is gonna be ending. What am I gonna do? Probably gonna be perfectly fine. And my sleeves keep getting stuck in here. But I'm probably gonna be perfectly fine because I'm just gonna get addicted to another TV show and completely forget about the other one. Fringe. I it was very sad. I did cry, actually. Lost. Cried. Now I hope revenge doesn't end. Although I don't know how they're gonna continue on. Emily, look at you girl at it again! And if you watch Revenge, the one thing that I find so funny about this show is everybody's always on the phone. Always having some Someone do her peasant biddings for her. Does she ever say thank you? Nope. Does she ever say goodbye when she hangs up the phone? No. That, my friends, is my rant on TV shows. If any of you guys are as addicted to some shows as I am, I feel you. I feel you. We're friends. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite TV shows are, or even movies. So, I will see you guys soon. Make sure you guys like this video, make sure you subscribe, and I'm currently in New York, so if you happen to see me roaming around the streets of New York, make sure you say hi, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!